Hello, my name is Stefan Hess and I'm a data management specialist here at Go Engineer. Today I'm going to show you something that is very simple in PDM but is such a critical element to the application. Unfortunately, this often gets overlooked in favor of highlighting some of the more impressive automations. This demonstration is going to be from the perspective of a mold designer in the plastic injection mold building industry. I chose this perspective because that is where I come from professionally. I have managed large departments and have consistently seen this issue. I have also implemented SOLIDWORKS PDM in companies such as this and the problem instantly went away. It's very common for engineering companies, especially in the injection molding industry, to use a network share drive to store all their project data. There are lots of potential issues with that setup, but today we will focus on just one of them. Here we see an example of a network share drive project setup. There are project folders and beneath the project folders are subfolders to organize various file types. Nothing too unusual here. Where it all goes wrong is when I look at the customer files folder. This is no joke. I've literally seen folders organized like this. When using SOLIDWORKS mold design tools, the customer supplied mold model drives everything. The mold parting line, molding inserts, CNC mill programs, lathe, electrodes, everything. An error here at the very beginning can cause disastrous results, costing many hours and many dollars. So with folder organization like this, how do I know which model is the latest and greatest from the customer? I could open up the mold split file in SOLIDWORKS and see what it's referencing, but I've quite literally seen splits referencing a customer file that was stored in the do not use folder, and it was correct. What? So it can be a real mess, and it opens up all kinds of opportunity for mistakes. So how can SOLIDWORKS PDM resolve this? This is the mold split for our sample project, and here are the additional assemblies resulting from it, including an assembly used for electrode design. This electrode shows exactly why these files need to be accurate. Manufacturing is depending on these files being right, because once they start burning this rib detail, they are committed. These files reference the customer model stored here. This path points to this folder. Notice there is only one file here, but this file has a lot of history. As is the case with many mold design projects, the customer is typically continuing their product development while the mold is being designed. The customer will submit various revisions of their product model, typically via email, and the mold designer's responsibility is to store that model and roll those changes into the mold design. One, may, uh, one way to maintain just one file is to examine the customer changes and roll those changes manually into the part that is being referenced by the mold design. Unfortunately, that exposes the mold builder to a lot of liability issues. So it is always best to use the exact model that the customer has sent. So how do I seemingly store one file and yet retain the history of all the customer submissions? Every time a file is checked into the PDM vault, a new version is created. We all know this, but how does PDM access old versions? It's easy. Every time a file is checked in, an additional file is stored in the PDM archive. Microsoft SQL gives the appearance that there is only one file but really there are as many files as there are versions of the document. When you wish to access an old version, PDM recalls the file that was checked in at that time. Simple. If you drag and drop a document into a folder with a file of the same name and extension within the PDM vault, PDM will add that file as history upon check-in. Let's take a look at how this will work. The customer has submitted some changes. They added some cuts to ribs and also added some fillet features. To add this file as history, I'm going to check out the customer file in the vault. I drag and drop in the new customer file, allow it to overwrite, and then check it in. 
I will add a comment describing the change and then complete the check-in. Now I'll open the files in PDM to roll the new change through. I open the customer part, the mold split, the assembly, and the electrode assembly. As we can see, the new changes have propagated through. One document entry in Explorer within PDM, but the entire file history is maintained within it. All the customer changes are tracked. No crazy folder names, no confusion, and it's a beautiful thing. Thank you for watching this short video. My name is Stefan Hess with Go Engineer, and I will see you next time.